Hi guys, welcome back. So Steve Borthwick completes his coaching team for the World Cup. And the question I had in the back of my mind is, is he building England around Leicester? Is that a good idea? What would an England 15 look like if it was built around Leicester, especially in the future? So let's have a look at this coaching team. We've got him as head coach, of course. Now we've got Kevin Sinfield, who was brought on board very quickly, obviously from Leicester. Then for the attack coach, they did want Nick Evans. Nick Evans was working with England during the Six Nations, but Harlequins were doing poorly when Nick Evans was gone. So Harlequins basically said, no, you can't have Nick Evans going forward. So they've brought in Richard Wigglesworth for attack and kicking strategy coach from Leicester, of course. Then they've got a scrum coach from Leicester, Tom Harrison. Now they probably wanted Ian Peel, the reports are from Saracens, but maybe he wasn't available, maybe he didn't want to come, I don't know. So they've got Tom Harrison. Now Tom Harrison has worked his way up through the Leicester Academy. Could be a fantastic coach for all we know, but not too much international experience or none. Same with Wigglesworth. But to round out the group of coaches from Leicester, they do have some experience on board in the shape of Alid Walters, highly rated fitness coach from Leicester, of course, but an ex World Cup winning fitness coach with South Africa, spells with Munster. So I think he is a really good recruitment. But in total, not a massive amount of experience. Now, on the positive side, of course, they all know each other. They know they can work well together. They can hit the ground running, probably. And with a World Cup so close, that's probably a good idea. Going forwards, do they need to maybe gain a bit more experience in that coaching group? Maybe. They're probably going to have to learn from their mistakes as well. So, yeah, it could be a good call. We'll see. Time will tell, I think. But what would a team look like if Borthwick wanted to base his team around Leicester? Now, of course, in the past, Eddie Jones has based a team around Saracens, but that's when Saracens were one of the best teams in the world. Is Leicester strong enough to do that? So just out of interest, what might a team look like? Well, I've started off with Ellis Genge. I know he's not Leicester now, but he certainly was, and he was under Borthwick as well. At Hooker, you could have Nick Dolly, the 23-year-old. He's played for England at under-18s, under-20s level. And he was getting into that England setup under Eddie Jones until a bad knee injury. So he could be a good player in the future. The tight head, you've got Dan Cole for experience. You've got Joe Hayes. So you do have some tight heads there with international experience. In the second row going forward, I think this is a possibility. You could see the second row built around the Chesham brothers, probably Ollie at four, being slightly more athletic, slightly shorter, 6'7", obviously isn't that short. Lewis Chesham at 5, 6'9", that bit more gangly player, bit better in the line-out potentially, but they could be a really good pairing going forward, so I think that could work. Back row-wise, the pickings are a bit slimmer, but you could have potentially a, a Courtney Laws type player at 6 in George Martin, 6'6", six six, a kind of second row stroke 6, that could work. At 9, of course, we've got Van Portfleet and still Young's around. At 10, well, Charlie Atkinson is there at Leicester, and I think he could well be an international fly half, and George Ford was recently at Leicester. But certainly going forward, Van Portfoli and Charlie Atkinson could be a pairing that Borthwick could go with. In the centres, well, Dan Kelly I rate very highly. We'll see how he goes at international level. I'm pretty sure he will get plenty of caps for England, maybe in the World Cup squad. That could be a close one. But you could have Porter alongside him, Guy Porter, at 13 for now. He's obviously played internationals under Eddie Jones. On one wing, you could have Anthony Watson. I don't know if his future lies with Leicester, but certainly he's there now. Moving to Leicester next year is Ollie Hassel Collins, who could well get plenty more England caps. And at fullback, of course, you have Freddie Stewart. So, yeah, it is conceivable that Borthwick could build his England team now and in the future around Leicester. He's obviously built his coaching team around Leicester. But is that good enough? Is it just a, a poor man's Leinster, if you like? Building Ireland around Leinster is very different to building England around Leicester. Anyway, do you think there's a future in that approach? Or does he just have to kind of mix and match a bit more from the clubs? We'll see. Let me know what you think on that. Let me know what you think of the coach appointments. And I'll catch you next time.